Zombie movies are almost as old as cinema itself. The idea of a mindless creature type thing driven by pure instinct alone coming after us. An unstoppable horde that just multiplies and multiplies out of control until it consumes all of humanity. Now there's a lot of imagery and there's a lot of different ways that zombie movies can be interpreted and it's been philosophized about for basically for as long as they've actually been around or at least since the popularity of the genre has been recognized and I'm no different I want to say what I think too and that's what will appear in this video hopefully it won't be too long and I'll be able to get you know at least a fair amount of information out as possible one of the things I see in zombie movies that tends to scare people a lot is the idea that there is death and the zombie is a symbol of death and that that death is always coming no matter what. But this is a fact of life. We can't get away from it. It's always going to be there and we are going to end up there. And I think the zombie is a great symbol of that. It is an overwhelming consuming thing that is unstoppable. Once the zombie horde gets to a certain size, it just it's not going to be stopped. It has to keep going no matter what. And there's basically nothing you can do about it. And I think that's a great symbol for death itself. It's always continuing. It's always there. It's a pervasive threat that lies around e every corner because we can die at basically any moment. And that's a fear that a lot of people do live with. There are people who fear death from accident all the time. And in fact, we could probably take this and go into the whole Final Destination series, but let's just stick to the actual scope of it itself. So I think that's one good element of zombie movies is a recognition of the fact that death does lie around every corner and that is all pervasive and it is definitely inevitable. I think possibly another element that we could throw into this when looking at zombie movies is perhaps a fear of the uncivilized and perhaps a fear of ourselves of our own you know supposedly barbaric nature like uh, we have a veneer of civilization over us roads railways science, technology, education, space travel, all of these things that gives us a nice veneer of a superior, above animal-like kind of existence. But inside, we may subconsciously fear our own barbaric, animal-like nature. Of course, I could actually go into the argument why this doesn't actually exist, but the belief that we're always on the verge of chaos and that Human nature is always this really bad thing, and it's always right there threatening to come out at any moment. And the zombie kind of typ uh, typifies that because they are us. We are them. We are the same creature. However, that veneer of humanity is taken away. Like that, that idea of civilization is now gone. And this is uh, visually represented by having our the same clothes that we were wearing when we were human. And now they're still there, but they're in a tattered kind of wrecked form, symbolizing possibly that loss of civilization that is there. And the zombie exists side by side with us. It's, it's right there in the same place. And the fact that the truth that anybody can suddenly become a zombie, no one's immune to that. Once that kind of infection has gotten into you, once that kind of slip of the consciousness has been made, we can very easily become one of them. And it's very possible because in the movies, it uh, typically shows that anybody can become one and everybody can become one. It shows kind of like the idea that we all have that potential to become uncivilized and become barbaric and violent. And then that this lies beneath the surface of each and every one of us, which again, I think would be symbolized by the fact that, that our clothes remain the same. Our relatively human features remain the same, although they're there in an altered form as though something was like bursting out or torn like something was clawing its way in, meaning we do see ourselves, but we see ourselves in an altered form of something that we can become, something that's driven purely by instinct. And one of the most basic instincts to every single life form on the planet is the need to consume fuel. We all have to eat. And I think that's, uh, that's one, you know, aspect or like one part of the zombie that we can see. I think consumerism and conformity is also a big part of the zombie movies. 
if there is one thing that we do see from the zombies is that they are almost completely uniform. They are of a single mind, a, a single, a single natural instinctive drive towards whatever it is that they need. Now, I think this manifests itself, this fearing that manifests itself in two ways. From one, I will say, for the lack of a better term, maybe it exists and I just don't know it, uh, a libertarian view where everybody becomes of the same mind, of the same consciousness, and everybody thinks the same way. It's one of the um, paranoid fears of communism that it somehow forces everybody to think the same way, and that everybody will believe the same thing, and everybody will do you know, according to one great martial social programming plan. When this is in fact not the case, in fact I would very much say that capitalism is that, in that it also it has that aspect that they're afraid of, but divides it into classes as well. Libertarians believe that if we all think the same, that that's what it's about, and that, that this is somehow worse than death, and I've, they say better dead than red kind of thing. Well, the problem with this being that libertarians believe that everybody is going to, that if everybody thinks something different, then it will work. Like, they literally don't get that they are saying, they're doing the same thing. Everybody has to think the libertarian way, but everybody's free to think another. But as soon as something comes along to challenge that libertarian idea in the supposed ideal libertarian world, they would do everything they could to stop it. So really, in essence, it's kind of the same thing. So they, they believe that it's the freedom to think whatever you want, to do whatever you want. But that as soon as something comes along to challenge that, um, challenge that meaning they, I do what you, I do what I want to do, you do what you want to do, and eventually those things are going to conflict. That's what I mean by that. I think that's one of the key forms of conformity, that being the libertarian ideal that we'll all be forced to think and behave the same. Now, on the other end of that, there's also the what I see as the kind of uh, leftist fear of conformity. Uh, for example, consumer culture. Uh, a great example of this is Black Friday. You know, anytime there's a huge sale coming up before a holiday, but Christmas time being the most uh, typical example we could see, aside from when Apple comes out with with a new product and everybody lines up and they're knocking each other down and they're crying and they're all emotional to get a hold of some consumer good. Uh, that shows a very sheep-like mindset there. It is all about getting this new product. It is all about getting that one good job to cement your position and then trying to freeze that in time as much as possible. Uh, there's a great deal of mindlessness to the consumer culture itself, and it, it, includes, it excludes to a great deal a lot of thinking. It is only this is what the big thing is. You have to have this if you don't want to feel left out. And there is a great fear by leftists of this because it is a mindless drive. There's the mindless drive towards profits. There is the mindless drive towards a, a, a lot of things in capitalism. And this is frightening to us because this literally leaves humanity out of the picture. It is all about the acquisition of wealth, all about the acquisition of property, all about the acquisition of profits, regardless of that social cost. And that is a zombie mindset in and of itself. So I do think that there are two different forms of conformity and uh, kind of a mindlessness drive that can be seen. There's, uh, there's a libertarian view and then there's a leftist view. So I think that uh, that should adequately describe both sides of that. One of the things I think that might stick out for a lot of people, whether they consciously know it or not, in terms of zombie movies is the idea of the self as the other, meaning there was always this great big other. You would have to research that idea first. And when a person becomes one of the zombies, there is the great other, this gigantic force that's against us. But I think when somebody becomes one of the zombies, it represents the possibility of ourselves becoming that great other. Because one of the reoccurring themes through uh, pretty much all zombie movies, regardless of who makes them, is that that moment when the protagonist has his friend or a loved one, someone he's very close to, often very close to through the entire movie, having built a relationship with, suddenly becoming one of those zombies. And the realization hits us that at any moment we can become the other. 
It is a fear of not just ourselves in change, which is constant, but the fear that we could suddenly find ourselves on the other side. Part of that, you know, disliked or despised, uh, a fear of not being accepted kind of thing. I think that could be something that pops up too as a result. So I think it's, it's that, that that's definitely a theme that reoccurs through zombie movies is the fear of the self becoming the other. And I think that's typified by the situation where you can be turned into a zombie at any moment. You can become one of them very easily. And that's a constant threat that hangs over the head of the protagonist in the movie. Finally, and what I think is probably the most important image in zombie movies is the threat of apocalypse. If zombie movies are anything, they're apocalyptic tales. Once the zombies take over uh, the consumerism, the mindlessness, the animal instinct, the barbarity, however it is that a person views what the zombie is and how the zombie functions, the world comes to an end, meaning this savagery that exists in the zombie eventually does take over and society is just wiped out. It cannot function. The, the veneer of uh, officialdom, the veneer of civilization ceases to exist and we revert back to our quote-unquote primal nature. That fear is there. The end of the world, the end of all things, the end of the society that we believe in and the complete destruction of humanity. And I think this is, this is a, a, it is, a reoccurring theme through all of humanity is the fear of the end of humanity. Now it'd be very easy to go into like religion and the belief in the apocalypse and the, the belief of the end of days and all that stuff, the Mayans and whatnot. But I mean, that's already known about, that's already there, we, we already know about it and that's been talked about endlessly. I think what's important is the fact that even outside of religion, that fear of the apocalypse, the end of our civilization, is always there. And I think that's always there because that keeps happening. There was a Roman Empire, and now it's gone. There was an Ottoman Empire, it's gone. There was a Mongol Empire, there was a British Empire, and for, for the, a great a large part of it is also gone. And I think the reason why zombie movies have such a big following in the United States is because the U.S. Empire has been around for quite a while now. And I think given the circumstances of economic crisis, uh, given the very likely to be the end of capitalism, people are afraid. And the end of that civilization that they know is gone. I mean, add into this the understanding that the America as idealized is already gone. The, the glorified 1950s post-World War II uh, prosperity is already gone. I mean, we see that unemployment rates, um, household incomes, just everything has deteriorated since then. Thus, we see a slow, gradual death of the first world, or particularly uh, you know, capitalism itself, but America as a, as a great symbol of that. And I think that continual decline has given a rise to the zombie genre once again, because I, we have seen a huge burst in zombie stuff. Um, at the uh, World War Z, um, this, uh, Walking Dead, and a bunch of other zombie stuff have recently picked up in the last couple of years. And I think this fear of the very real decline of Western civilization, both uh, culturally and... Uh, economically is all of this is a manifestation of that fear and that that's just my general thoughts when it comes to zombie movies because I, I myself am a great zombie movie fan I love zombie movies uh, if done right they can scare the hell out of me I don't mean in a you know pop ah I'm scared I mean more in a something deeper and psychological can get into my mind that causes me to fear. Um, for me, it's a gr it, the one thing that scares me the most about them is the sense of hopelessness. Uh, when they redid Dawn of the Dead, and I think that's the title, um, when they were all stuck in the mall and the zombies surrounded the mall and they saw that it was f that they had to get out, they had to break away from the mall and they were all in the van, they were taking off and kind of like as the credits rolled, no matter where they went, 
the zombies were still there. Meaning that in the end, there really was no escape from the zombies at all. It was a futile struggle. And that no matter what, that kind of peace and prosperity, or just peace in general, was not going to be found. It's gone. And it's never coming back. And that sense of futility scares me. And that's why I like zombie movies. Because I generally like movies that can provoke emotions in myself. The suspension of disbelief, cinematography, blah, blah, blah. That's one thing that I really do like. And that's one of the reasons why I like zombie movies. And that's also why I'm going to continue watching zombie movies. Thank you for watching. Go ahead, rate, comment, subscribe, share on various social media. And if you want, there's some other great content here you could check out.